Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. See, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this rant, man. So many of you drivers. Let, let me sit down for a minute and, and, and sip on my, my tea. And by the way, thank you. Thank you, supporters, for getting the brothers some coffee. You know, if you want to do that, the links is in the description below. But we're about to jump into it, man. Now, see, certain companies, they want you to get up right when that 10 hour is over with. But a lot of you drivers have problems with that. Y'all don't want to get up right when the 10 hour is over with. What y'all want to do, y'all want to get up, waste some more time by taking a long ass shower, getting your breakfast and all like that doing your pre-trip, and then all of a sudden, after your 10 hour, you're about an hour, hour 45 minutes after your 10 hour. Well, some companies, especially companies that deserve profession, I should say, they want you, they say, hey, look, we need you to get up and get rolling right after your 10 hour. We want you to do that. That's what we're paying you for. When your 10 hour is up, we want you in that truck. We want the truck on the road. Now, some of you guys get to like places, say like Las Vegas, for example, and you go out on your 10 hour to do Las Vegas stuff. I mean, I would, especially if I've never been to Las Vegas. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of the truck, man, and spend at least a couple of hours two, three, four hours, and then get back to the truck and have maybe about, what, maybe about four hours, five hours to sleep. But you still got to get up after that 10th hour to get on the road, man. But some of you guys are like, no, nah, no, nah, man, bump on that. I, uh -uh, I don't want to work for a company like that. But you're the same guy that's turning around and be like, oh, well, this company is not giving me no miles. This company is not giving me no lows. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Well, if you're that driver that is tired of waiting all day for your dispatcher from overseas to broker you a load over here in America, That's, that's what you're doing. You're tired. You wake up at about at about 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, inspecting them to have a load ready for you to pick up maybe about an hour or two later. It's not the case. They won't get you a load till about maybe like 1 o'clock in the evening, man. Then what? Then you don't even know how, how many miles it is. Oh, well, we couldn't get you a good load, but we got this 300-mile load. We'll try to get you another load while you're rolling. But then by the time you get to the receiver, the motherfucking load ain't due until the next day. Then you call your then you call your, your, your driver manager and be like, bro, uh, they said that the load ain't due until 8 o'clock the next morning, man. What I'm going to do with this? Oh, well, see if you can go in there. And see if they can take you early. So you 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 like, okay, well, at least you got it there early. You would think that they would take you early. You would think that. Hey, no problem. All right, no problem. I'm here early. You know, they can they can unload me. I can get another load, probably another 300 mile load. I'll go ahead and do my sits for the day. But then you get but then you go in there and they they steadfast like nah, bruh, we can't get you in early. Hey, can, can you can you put me in as a work in? Nah, we can't even do that. Now see, here's my problem with with companies like that, right? Listen, hold on, pay attention. So if you get the load there late, they're quick to put you in as a work in, right? You get the load there late, they'll put you in as a work in, and then they'll be like, okay, well, since you got the load here late, we're going we gonna to work you in. Oh, fuck. 
But if you get there early, if you get there early or maybe a day early, you mean to tell me they still couldn't put you in the work in on that? Times ticking, 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 ticking. Then you call your fleet manager back and be like, bro, nah, man. Hey, is there is there a, 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 a drop site, a, a yard that I can come and 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 drop the drop the load? Nah, nah, you stuck with that load until the next morning when it's time for them to unload you. And a whole day, whole hours, you got like, you got like maybe what, uh, uh, 300 miles? That's like, what, four hours? You still got seven hours left on the clock, bro. And then what? Then what? Yo, can I can I get a can I get a detention? Can I get layover pay? No, no. No, we don't offer that. No, we don't offer that. And here you are stuck. You stuck. You stuck. Ain't nothing to do. But you're the same driver that turns around and say, when the company do give you the miles, right? When the company do give you the miles, but they say they want you to get up as soon as that 10 hour is over with, you're the same driver that be like, no, I ain't doing that. I ain't working for a company that does that. I got to get up. I got to get my nutrition. I got to get my shower in. I got I to gotta fuck around for about an hour, hour and a half. And that particular company don't even want you to fuck around for an hour, hour and a half. They want you to get up and get that truck on the road. So about time you get to the to the drop off or to the delivery, they'll be ready with the next load. See, I love working for companies. This is me personally. I love working for companies that when you're on a load, they're looking for the next load for you. And then when you deliver that load, that next load is ready for you to be dismi- I mean be dispatched and you're on your way to the next pickup. Wash, rinse, do it all over again. That's what I like. I I, I don't like the fact that you get to the d- delivery, drop the load, and then you call them up and say, "Hey, I'm done. Oh, okay. Well, we're 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 looking. We we're gonna start looking for another load, bro. Why you, why you not looking for another load? Why I'm in transit? I I got 300 miles, bro. You mean to tell me you can't? You know where I'm going to deliver at? You know you you know where I, you you don't need a uh uh. What do you call it? You you don't need an ETA. You know that I'm going to be there soon, so you should already be on your grind. You should be on your grind to get me a load so when I get there, done, pick up on the next load, bruh. But y'all the same drivers that want to pussyfoot around for an hour, hour and a half instead of getting up, getting behind the wheel, and get ghost. Y'all don't like, y'all, y'all don't like companies like that, though. Nah, y'all y'all don't like companies like that. Mm-mm. Y'all wanna y'all wanna y'all wanna pussyfoot around for about uh for about a for about a, a hour hour and a half. Companies like that they ain't got time. They want they they want to make money just like you want to make money. They want to keep you moving so they can continue to make money. So if that requires you to get up at six right after your 10 hour and let's say you was in las vegas and you wasted about five hours then you come back waste about another two which only leaves you about three hours worth of sleep and then you get and then you oversleep and you be like well you know uh, i was out they you know companies don't want to hear that especially companies that consider you a professional driver they don't want to hear that 
All they want to know is, are you going to be ready when that 10 hour is up? Big G's got it locked, boy. Why don't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. 